is the Fantasy Alarm NBA DFS Show with John Impemba and James Grande. What is going on, everybody? John Impemba here with James Grande. Welcome to the Fantasy Alarm NBA DFS Playbook Preview Show. We got eight games here on a Friday, James. Got a few teams on the second legs of their back-to-back. So obviously injury news is once again, going to be the key feature of the day, just like it was for the Thursday slate. We do, of course, already know that Victor Wembanyama will not play this game for the Spurs after they uh, announced that he would play the front end of their back-to-back. Uh, but a couple teams here that we are going to have to be paying attention to uh, as well uh, when it comes to slate. Charlotte is on the second leg of a back-to-back. The Nuggets are also uh, going to be on the second leg of their back-to-back, uh, along with San Antonio uh, in their in their matchup. So. Uh, when it comes to uh, eight games here, man, how are you feeling about everything? Uh, I'm feeling pretty good when I open up covers and see that we have a 251 game total on our hands here, John. Uh, and I just saw your ha- your eyes uh, perk up a little bit. 251 in Sacramento, Atlanta. Uh, opened at Atlanta. Min- it's just, actually Atlanta. It's about so, a pickle. So, James, I, my eyes were open because DraftKings has taken the 10 p.m. games off the slate. No, so we have no San Antonio, Portland. We have no Memphis, LA. I was like, there's more teams on a back to back here. Why don't I see them on the slate? That is why. Cause San Antonio, Portland and Memphis would have also been on back to backs here. Um, but they are not, we have a seven o'clock start time. 9 PM late start is the, uh, late night hammer. This one. Why? I don't know why. Um... I don't know why. I'm going to go check. Why are we doing I'm this gonna again? Fanduel, They're not going to have it because at the time of recording, there's still the three game late slate. They're not going to, you know, Fandles. Yeah, Fandles always late to the party here. Let's see. Uh, oh, Fandle does have their Friday main. They also have taken off the last two games. 9 p.m. is your late night hammer on Fandle as well. So, as I mentioned, San Antonio, Portland, off the slate. Memphis versus the Clippers, off the slate. So, you know, John Morant. You know, Anthony Simons, Malcolm Brogdon, like that whole situation there. Uh, the Spurs, probably saving us from the saving them to deal with the Spurs on a second leg of a back-to-back. Uh, but yes, so eight games instead of 10 here on the main slate. So really annoying. That is that is why my eyes are open wide. I hadn't even seen the Atlanta-Sacramento game. It was at 251 with Atlanta, a one-point spread. Uh, Boston here is also on a back-to-back. Uh, they are... Uh, in danger of losing to Detroit. They're currently up <laughs> to with eight seconds left to go uh, in this game as we speak. Uh, and that just came on a Cade Cunningham goaltending violation, by the way. So uh, it was a tie game with eight seconds left until the Cade Cunningham goaltending knew that's being challenged. But Detroit will have a shot at the last shot of the game to shoot a three and win. So, what, are the uh, chances, we- what are the chances of this? happening the 17 and a half point home favorite celtics losing to the detroit pistons who are plus 900 on the money line here tonight dude best team in the nba versus the one of the i mean the worst they say one of the worst teams we've ever seen yeah that we've ever seen uh to this point and i mean what like yep drain a three in their eye to win the game i hope i mean they're on the road and they've lost 27 in a row. I hope they take it. You know, um, I hope they do. I'm what's the what are they playing for a tie for? They're gonna, you know, you, you oh, take yeah. a three. You I have agree. to take a three here. I agree. Um, so that's the news. That's the games. Obviously, we'll follow the injury uh news here. Top price players on this slate, Nikola Jokic. Uh Joel Embiid has already been ruled out. Philly's got that matchup in Houston here. Giannis is questionable. Uh, SGA and Durant and Tatum are all up over 10K. Now, Tatum was a, was questionable going in to this Detroit game, ended up playing. Jalen Brown was ruled out. I wonder if uh, that switches. We know Al Horford won't play this game against Toronto. Does not play mm-hmm. back-to-backs. Chris Asperzingis lately has been dealing with some injuries. We'll see if he plays yep. on this back-to-back here. So Boston, certainly a team that you probably will see some midday cues uh, popping up here, especially if they lose to Detroit. Um, so uh, just be on the lookout for all of that. Let's let's take a look, though. Let's break into the slate. We'll start off at the point guard position here uh, as I pull it up for everybody. SGA, Trey Young, your top two uh, price guards. Devin Booker's here at 96. Aaron Fox, 94. Maxi, 9K. 
Trey Young at 9,900, home, one point spread, 251 total. Feels like the auto lock of the day. I mean, probably one of the point guards in this game because you could probably equally say Darren Fox coming off 66 fantasy sure. points, or he had 43 actual uh, in a game that they got blown out in by Portland. Um, really hard to decipher between them. Maybe you just say Darren Fox for cheaper, right? You're like, yeah. oh, Fox is 500 cheaper, but like, Maybe you play them both. And play you play them both. I said maybe you'll play them both, depending on what value uh, could be available on this slate. Now, obviously, with a lot of these teams being on back-to-backs, you know, DraftKings has uh, done a pretty good job of pricing everybody up here. Uh, I half expect to see Peyton Pritchard at $6,500 when we roll <laughs> our way down, uh, or like Sam Hauser in that range. Uh, Quaid is probably up over 5 k Anyways, enough of that. Um, how else do you look at, like, Maxi? Lillard is down to $8,800. Rozier on the back-to-back at 87. Brunson gets Orlando at 84. Um, thoughts on the second tier of guards here. Uh, and Donnie Mitch, 95. As yeah, well. Donnie Mitch, Let 95. Him know. Let him know. Um, we'll see. We'll see if he lets us know or not. I mean, Maxi just a tough, like, Embiid stretch for Maxi, I guess. Like, an Embiid list stretch. Miami, Orlando, Houston, right. all on the road. Not, like the greatest like showcase for Tyrese Maxey, but I mean, he has a massive usage rate, a massive ceiling without Embiid. So if you want to play him, he'll, he'll, you know what? This will clearly be the slate he's low on. So if you want to play him in tournaments, you can, um, Scotty Barnes just going for ceiling after ceiling after ceiling. If you want to get to him Lillard, I mean, it's not going to get worse than that Brooklyn game. That was also maybe the weirdest game we're going to see of the year. Um, with like how everyone's minutes were just kind of tamed and approached. So yeah, Middleton um, had a huge night there. Yeah. Middleton had a huge night. Giannis had a big night, but like everyone was kind of limited too, because what Brooklyn was doing and Mm -hmm. Adrian Griffin kind of reacted um, on the other side. Um, Rozier on a back-to-back, like they're like, what was it? 14 point, 15 point road dogs in Phoenix who could be getting Bradley Beal back. He's been elevated to questionable for this mm-hmm. game. Um, what, I don't really feel great about Charlotte's chances in that one. Um, and Brunson is fine, right? I mean, it's a, not the best matchup against Orlando, um, but he's been on one scoring the basketball yep. this year. So if you want to get to Brunson, it, it's just hard for me to play any of this tier when you can, like Trey and, and De'Aaron Fox are so affordable, yep. right? Like in a 250 total, like that, that would be, I'd be hard pressed to like play any of those guys over either of them. I agree with you. Uh, we have Brooklyn versus Washington. Hopefully not all of Brooklyn gets a uh, bench here. Uh, but you have Dinwiddie at $7,100. Craig Porter, 66. If there's no uh, Donnie Mitch against Milwaukee, that feels like a pretty good uh, spot for him, obviously. Uh, Tyus has been playing the bo- uh, pretty good ball of late as well in this uh, six tier, uh, 6K range. Uh, update here, John. The Pistons have tied the game, yep. and we are headed to overtime. Yeah, Kate uh, Cunningham Kate... missed. Uh, Bojan Bogdanovic offensive rebound put back of all things there. So, Hell yeah, Bo. Crazy. Hell yeah. We have extra basketball here in Boston. So. <laughs> I'm not laughing. I'm not laughing at you, like at the Celtics. No, no, be, no for sure. Whatever. Irregardless of this result, they're going to be just fine. Um, but, like, it is – Basketball is hilarious. Basketball, no, no sport better than you. Than literally, football. never know anything. So nothing, nothing. nothing. you know yeah. nothing. Um, yeah, I mean, Craig Porter is interesting. I would say the only downside to getting to Craig Porter was we, you and I were watching obviously for our buddy Sean Mitchell last night because he had Craig Porter in a really good spot on underdog. Just didn't close right. Like, didn't yeah. play the final six or seven minutes of the game, and I assume. If Lavert wasn't going as well as he was going, then then we maybe we do get um, sure. Craig Porter more minutes. He still went for forty one. Still, I'm so. I'm not I'm not I'm nitpicking. I'm just saying like what could be like there could be even in a higher ceiling. I mean, we saw the game before he played thirty nine minutes, right? Yeah. So uh, I think Craig Porter Jr. really good spot for guards too against Milwaukee. Um, there, it's a very slow burn for these. Uh, these Philly guard increases, huh? Like Melvin yeah. went for another 35. He's still just 6,100. Um, 
didn't even have like a really good peripheral stack game, and he's been somebody who has had a good peripheral stack. Right. So, um, what do you make of uh, Trent starting for Schroeder? Played 26 minutes in that game, 25 fantasy points. Yeah, I mean, you kind of been the first one on the Gary Trent bandwagon lately, um, and if he's going to start, you know, I, I didn't, I didn't popcorn machine it to see if he even lost out time because they completely housed. Yeah. Um. The uh, Wizards. let's see the Wizards. Let's yeah. see what was the. When was that popcorn machine? There it is. Um, I want to see if he lost out any run at the end of that game because. Um, Duop Reef has been ruled out for those of you who are playing the uh, you know, for those who Reef played the uh, ruled out. Played the uh, the the Thursday slate. I mean, that's pretty big news there. Moses so, Brown by himself. Moses Brown by himself. Uh, Jabari Walker also. Shout out Jabari yeah. Walker. Um, Gary Trent, John, in that game, checked out at the end of a uh, two minute mark of the third. He only played one minute in the fourth quarter. Yeah, that's blow up. That's what he, was a, he, was, he was playing 35. He was playing, so he checked in at the six minute mark. So he would have played the final six, so he would have gotten 32 minutes, right? 30 mm -hmm. around 32 minutes, which is yeah. a super solid mark for um, a cheap starter. Uh, yeah. I, yeah. I like them. Yep. I, I don't I, I like the price better the other day, but 52 is fine. Would you mess around Malik Monk at all? Sure. I know the minutes Armin's certainly team. haven't been as good, but I would. I mean, hey man. He's been dealing with a little injury. It's a 250 total. He has a massive um scoring ceiling. So sure. yeah. Uh moving on over to shooting guard. Devin Booker's ninety six hundred dollars. What was the Bradley Beal price? I, I just zoomed by him. Bradley Beal is where is Bradley? Uh, Sixty two hundred. You probably wouldn't play Beal coming off injury here, right? Um, no. It's a really good price, but no. agreed. Uh, Booker's ninety six. As we talked a little bit, all these guys have dual positional eligibility. You're dead on though. Donnie Mitchell being a great spot if he was to play against Milwaukee. Uh, Dejounte seventy seven here. Uh, Derek White's up to seventy six. That's uh, yeah. it's definitely getting a little pricey. Yeah, that's definitely getting pricey. Uh, Thomas Poole, Struess, Middleton's at 67. Bogdan, Bogdan at 66 is pretty good. Bogdan, Bogdan at 66. The minutes are still... Hey, he did... What was the deal with Sacramento? Wasn't he, like, going to be traded there or they had a offer sheet to him and he said he didn't want to play in Sacramento or something? I don't... I, don't I forget. They traded him, so... They traded him. That's what it was. Okay. Yeah. Um, there it was. Or, or uh, they didn't match the offer sheet. It was one of the two. One of the two. Okay. Uh, him and Lavert are priced next to each other. I think you can go either play here. Yes. Who do you prefer? I, I probably prefer. Bogdan's I mean, Lever... got the better game. Bogdan has the better game. If there's no Donovan Mitchell, is that do you lean Lavert? I mean, if Mitchell's back, I mean, we've won you... forty fantasy point games out of Bogdan. So yeah, true, not like... true. Yeah, two fifty total. Now, obviously, Jalen Johnson's back. That like impacts that a little bit, but mm -hmm. you know, you didn't even get the thirty minutes out of Karis Levert either in that game. I so. know, dude. It's frustrating. Both both guards played went over forty fantasy points while not playing thirty, so it's a little tough yeah. to. I uh, mentioned Melton. We'll see what happens with Brandon Miller here. Uh, Ubre played twenty eight minutes in that game. Twenty nine minutes missed all the shots. Well, come. It tends to happen. They're a tough spot against Houston. Again, it feels like Houston's always at home to me. I don't know. They are, they are playing a lot of home games. It's going to be tough for them later in the year if they're not playing, if I they're like feel, finishing their season. It feels like they're always at home here. Yeah. Um, Grayson Allen, Eric Gordon. Uh, again, I know Bradley Beal is coming back, but both of those guys played well. If Beal doesn't play, I mean, Eric Gordon didn't miss a yep. shot against Houston. So. Yep. Agreed. Uh, both are fine. Uh, Talk Gary Trent quickly. Uh, Caleb Mar Cody Martin that price up to forty eight hundred dollars now. <laughs> that took zero time. Nope, nope. We'll see how he does on uh, on Thursday slate. Yeah, he doesn't. Uh, yeah, easily yeah. down to forty seven oh, minutes. Aren't really there. What did, did Tate start that game? Twenty four minutes for him. He did. Not really a lot down there for me. Um, unless something happens in terms of like rollouts or something yeah i agree uh small forward uh jt at 10k obviously had a pretty good game uh, that game's still going on boston celtics tied 112 112 so far in uh, ot 
uh, hope, which is good news for my Derek White shares because I he was he was just he was hurting me there for a little bit. So more minutes, more opportunities. Uh, let's see, Barnes eighty nine. What do you do against Boston this year? Not good. Two games, just twenty eight fantasy points. It's not it's not good for Scotty. Yeah, not great. Franz, another good game for him. It's the Knicks. Mister Wagner, yeah, he's good. Yeah, uh, Mikel, fresh off a nice little rest game. It's the Wizards. Did you see the comments after the game too? I didn't. I didn't. He they asked him and he said I didn't like it. Interesting. So that is not obviously was not his. Uh, yeah. They did not have a. And they asked him, "Did you need a rest?" And he said, "I never need a rest." And obviously, he has not well, rested even his NBA career. So he gets all of his Chipotle protein. So like, he's... I mean, I've been trying to tell everybody this. <laughs> Trying to tell like you, I goes up there, he says extra chicken, extra rice, and like he just you know he goes with it. So he's a pretty solid bowl. No guac though was a little disappointing. Um, I know you, you don't care because you don't like Chipotle and didn't like, even watch the video. I just assumed that's thing that's what Chipotle eaters say. Like, can I get extra chicken, extra rice? And they like he did, he does go double chicken. Okay. Um, does go double chicken, no guac though, like I said, super disappointing. But guac is um, overrated, fight me on it. Um, let's see, porters on the back to back, Toby. Against Houston, another decent little game for Toby here. I can't even continue with this show. Uh, yeah. <sighs> yeah, Toby Toby has been super, super good scoring the basketball. I mean, he's been as good as they've had scoring the basketball. He's been better all, than Max. He's Jones. what we wanted Tyrese Maxi to be, right? So, he, has, he has been, yep. Um, again, we talked Middleton, monster double-double for him. I don't I mean, I don't know. Does he do it again? The minutes Look, are good. The shot attempts are great. He's an elite basketball player. He and is. And we've said this since the beginning. Like, he should be $1,000 more than he's been priced. Yes. I still feel that way. He should be a 7K, mid to high 7K player. And look at the shot attempts. Look at the peripheral stats. Look at the scoring. Like, this yeah. is what he does. He's multi, He's making multi threes every game. Like, he's just so... Him being this good is really, really scary for the rest of the NBA. Agreed. Uh, let's see. Jalen Williams had the monster the other day. I, I, I mean, he's been scoring the ball really well and a really good compliment here to, uh, to SGA. Do you like Jalen Williams at 67? Um, I don't mind Jalen Williams, uh, especially with no Aaron Gordon on the flip side. Like that would be kind of a tougher matchup for him. Um, I think he's perfectly fine. I, I, the, the Thunder minutes, other than SGA, are super infuriating sometimes. Because, like, sure. I'm not saying 33 is bad. But, like, dude, he had 36 actual. Yeah. He, played, he had more points than minutes. Like, dude, can we just give him a few extra? Like, why is he not playing 36, 37 minutes? Yeah. You know? He like, felt that way with Giddy the last couple of years, too. They just, like, weren't giving yeah. Giddy minutes here. Uh, Tyree Eason played 25 minutes, had five steals. Uh, gave you 22 fantasy points. Obviously not his best shooting night here, but... Uh, Jabari Smith is out already. So there's a good chance Tari Eason starts this game. Yeah. Yeah, uh, he's pretty... going. He's going. To, no, he's going to. It, without Jabari yeah. Smith, he's going to start this game. Yep. For sure. Uh, I, think this, I think this is a really good spot for him. Um, uh, Barrett, kind of frustrating as usual. Cool Bali. I don't know. Anything down here for you? Um, preemptively, Sam Hauser getting a price bump, of course, yeah. because that's just only, only a couple hundred bucks, 5k on uh, on Thursday. Um, I don't think so. Do we also have Dylan Brooks out? So they're gonna start Tate Eason, right? I mean, uh, that's just yeah, the probably. assumption. Um, what did Aaron Thompson play for minutes in that game? Um, 17. Could see so did Cam Whitmore. Oh, Whitmore, your boy. I forgot all about that. Um, he also played 17. I'm gonna look at so that was a was that the indie game? No. No, Phoenix, 1227. Phoenix. They don't have yes, they do. Let's see. What what, what did Whitmore play? So Whitmore played um six minutes in the first half and then the final twelve. So some blowout run. He got all yeah, they didn't play the only non like the only rotation piece that really played was Eason and Holiday. And then everyone else. Eamon Thompson played the final 12 minutes. Yep. Um, so uh, let's see. Second half, Jabari Smith went out. Eason checked in. 
immediately. And Jay Sean Tate almost played Jay Sean play, Tate played the entire third quarter. Um I don't know, maybe maybe we get some maybe there's I have mild interest in Cam Whitmore. Dude, I I told you this, like if there was any he is just a walking basket. Yeah. So um mild, 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 very, very mild interest. Thirty nine hundred bucks. I mean, you should have probably a little bit more than mild interest there with everything. I just else. I just don't know, like yeah, he played six first half minutes. Well, I just, how much of that when did Jabari get hurt in that game? Second half. And then Eason came in. Right. And then... And just played the rest of the game? He came out beginning of the fourth. Uh, Whit, they just... They white flagged the whole okay. quarter. Aaron Holiday and Eason were the only regulars. Whitmore... I think uh, it's encouraging that he saw first quarter minutes. Sure. I agree. Yeah. I agree with that for sure. Uh, power forward over here. Uh, Giannis is 11K, gets Cleveland. Kevin Durant, man. Sheesh. Yeah. Points yeah. At, after the games he had... We're like, I mean, again, 28 actual, but only 39, 36. He goes for 74, 27, 10, and 16. Now he gets Charlotte. I mean, again, the monster spread in that game, but that's a that's a that's a line. Um that's a, yeah, that's a Washington. I don't really care. I mean, Bancaro, Randall, Siakam, like eh. okay. Yeah, right. it's an F tier. Yeah, it's right. fine. Right. Yeah, it's not fine. like not like the greatest of matchups, but like yeah, yeah sure. Yeah. Uh, we don't know if Zinger or or Horford play, so this could be a Nemus Quaida starting game. Like, oh no, um, we'll see what happens there. Kuzma against Brooklyn, yeah, yep. sixteen actual. He's fine. Still priced up too much. I don't know, man. What do we do? Is it do you just plug some of the guys we've already talked about dual eligibility? Do you go here, Keegan Murray, Jalen Johnson, and just see which one hits their shots? Yeah, man. Uh, so Jalen Johnson for me is very interesting because we like kind of like what was the what were the minutes going to be 29 minutes out of the gate mm -hmm. you know and we didn't think it was like anything serious because it was a hand but or a wrist whatever it was dude one one rebound shy of a double double in 30 minutes now you're getting an up-tempo game for an athletic wing that like gets yeah. out in transition forget it um jalen johnson for me and 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 you know, I'm not poo-pooing Keegan Murray because he can make a ton of shots, but like yeah. he just went two I, for eleven. Yeah, and there was a spot for him to hit those shots. Though. I feel like pace up against Atlanta here. Right? You know what? Both both are great plays. I'm I'm not gonna try to sit here and say like pinpoint. I, both are fantastic, yeah. fantastic plays. Totally, totally cool with that. Um, Eason, we talked about Sadiq Bay on the other side of that, still playing a lot of minutes. So like 6100, him's pretty good. Um, what did Agonko end up doing? Back to twenty minutes. Yeah, it's sad. Ball. It's so sad. Tough break. Uh, anything else down here for you, Watson? How what do you? Do you right? uh, he's having a good. He had a really good start to this game. Um, in the first half, Peyton Watson eight points, three rebounds, assists, two made threes in thirteen minutes, and he started. So he has um fourteen fantasy points at half. At he was thirty eight hundred. Uh, mm -hmm. What's his price here? 45. Back to back slump. But I mean, you know, he's going to start. Yeah. I mean, as, yeah. So, hey, man, if he's going to start, you know, it's not a, not a, it's a pretty good spot for him. So, yeah. um, he's, he's, uh, he's a good little player. That that's shows been... all, that sent other guys back to the G League. Yeah. I mean, yeah. There. Yeah. Uh, center. Uh, Joker's 11 2 on the back to back against the Thunder. Yeah, good. You always play the Joker if you want to. Uh, so bonus though, here against Atlanta. Have we seen Murray? We haven't, we didn't really mention Murray. Has he, let's see, has he played back to back? He did. Okay. I just wanted to make sure that he was playing back to back. Jamal, if, yeah. He, if he didn't, what was the um, Murray's price? So, yeah, we just kind of skimmed by him. 78, 7,800. Good. Uh, it's pretty good. Yeah. He played on the second leg of a back to back just the other day before Christmas. He played 33 minutes on the second leg. He had 20, 12, and five. So, uh, looks like he'll be fine uh, if you, if you want to get there. I just wanted to see if um, they were like monitoring him a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean Jokic, and if you don't play Jokic again, Savonis for no reason is under 10k. Right? Don't you, don't you think like you see this game on the schedule, like the algorithms, you give them a little like there's like Savonis, Trey. You can even yeah. make in a case for Fox should all be over 10k. Yeah. Right? You can like, play mini Savonis here, uh, ooh, with dude. 
8,400, no Jabari, not having to deal with Embiid. Have you seen the... So you're are you a Pokemon? Are you an OG Pokemon guy? Yeah. Have sure. you seen the have you seen the meme where it's the it's the um Shingoon was Charmander, Sabonis was Charmeleon, and Jokic was uh Charizard? No, that, that's funny. I think that is so perfect for how to, but like no disrespect to um Shingoon yeah. Yeah, because yeah. he's been a fantasy point for a minute freak of nature, but you know. Yeah, that works. Um, so like I said, like this could be a ceiling Shingoon spot here. Yep, it can. Um, again, I don't think Zinger plays, but if he does, like, sure. Like having a really big night tonight. I mean, that game's over now. They uh, almost over, but he's got 35 and eight right now out of the sky. Does he Chris did not have he did not have that like no, before I, I, the fourth he, quarter? I don't think so. 35 and eight right now for Chris Asper's, I guess, in this game. So uh, Derek White, all the way up to 21, 4, and 5. Have himself a nice little overtime. That's exactly what we needed. Um, I mean, Jared Allen, obviously, Monster Knight, 24 and 23. <laughs> um, six assists. If there's no Donnie Mitch again, do we, do we just run back to Allen here? Yes. Short, short answer is yes. Um, it's obviously a little tougher spot with the Milwaukee interior and, like, mm-hmm. You know, we've seen it time and time again how Giannis can just put people in massive foul trouble like very fast. But right. you can't you you can't predict that, especially when a guy's coming off 56, 65 in back to back games. Agreed. Um, where else are we going down in this mid tier range? You got Capella at sixty five, Gafford at six K had a good game. Mm-hmm. Um, Harden, Harden Gaff- dude, Gafford. Done. I'm done down in this man. He's had a bunch of good games in a row, or just like stringing together a bunch of good games lately. Um, yeah. in general, good spot for him. It's a good spot for him. Is uh, Claxon is probable. Okay. Yeah. Um, I just I wasn't totally sure if they were gonna. Um, Paul Reed at 53. Coming off a monster game and just like solidifying, you know, he just as the better option. Yeah, uh, I mean, he gets he, he gets the Shingun matchup here, but uh, yeah, it's tough. Hey, it's a foul trouble. Foul trouble could definitely be in in the cards for sure. Yep, yep. Anybody else down here for you? Um, not unless we have injury news. Sure. Oh yeah, where is Quetta? Right here, forty four hundred for Nemea Quetta. Hmm. Uh, again, we know Al Horford isn't playing, and Quetta is over over Cornette in the rotation, so. Uh, Quaid has even got 20 minutes tonight off the bench as they're because uh, they started Horford and Porzingis. So, um, good chance Quaid is playing 20 plus minutes, if not starting in this game, there should Singer and Hor- Horford sit out. So, oh boy, going down that road. He's been better lately. He has. <laughs> no, no, I, I'm not saying it's like a. He's just like another one of those like super foul, like super energetic foul happy guys that like we're gonna play if he's if he's in the lineup we're gonna play him. Uh, let's get a lineup built. Um, I kind of like Shingun here. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um. Okay. Then let's and then let's use one of the uh, let's use one of the guards from Atlanta Sacramento. Yeah, that works. Uh, so we'll go. We'll just do the cheaper fox then. Um, you want to use the you wanted to use Sabonis here, I imagine. No, we just said Shingun. No, I know. I was saying that you were feeling uh, Sabonis there. Well, I was thinking we could go if we don't go Shingun, we can always play Tari Eason as well because there's no Jabari Smith. But like, I I'd be okay playing. Obviously, like Shingun's my guy. I, I'd, yeah, I'd love to play him. Jalen Johnson and and Keegan Murray sit there in the mid tier too. Like we have, there's a lot of. Um, yeah. Really, really good mid tier plays. Do we have a? Let's, I'm gonna play Whitmore in anyways, dude. I just I think he's gonna be in this rotation. I like, I like uh, that. Peyton Watson. Peyton Watson. If you wanted yep. to like get some yep. savings in the guard spot, sixty one hundred guard and utility here. Uh, Melton sixty one on a dot, and it's a sixty two for a. I mean, we could throw City Bay right. and just get more action in that game. Um, we could. What were the minutes? City played thirty. He's just like such. He's safe. 
right? Like he's a safe yeah. play. He's yeah. not like a high ceiling, just safe guy. But you can you can maybe say the ceiling's a little bit elevated in this particular matchup. Sure. That's also a fair point. Um let's see. There really wasn't anywhere else where we would go, right? Unless we dropped on we like Shingun. So I mean, but if we were yeah. to drop down to like yeah, Jared right. Allen, you know, if there was no uh there was no Donnie Mitch, I guess, but we'll, we'll put us on yeah. we'll put us on Eason if we yeah. didn't play um Shingun. So if we went to Jared Allen, we just play Eason. So is it it's like it's Shingun. Shingun. Who do you think has the higher ceiling? I guess. Allen uh, or Shingun. Uh, they both they've both gone for sixty. So they yeah. <laughs> they both they both gone for sixty. I would say Allen has a better spot. Milwaukee, in terms of like pace and possessions, uh, yeah. Houston Philly is a two seventeen and a half game total. Yeah, a little ugly. Uh, what if we did? I think there might be better guard options. Let's let's do your Sabonis call. I'm kind of feeling that now. Sabonis, um, go like Jabal Murray. Yeah, it's okay. See, yeah, that works. All right, Jamal Murray, Gary Trent, Cam Whitmore, Jalen Johnson, Devonta Sabonis, Anthony yeah, Melton, uh, Paul uh, Paul Watson. What's his name there? Peyton Watson. Peyton Watson and Tari Eason uh, is lineup for everybody here. Uh, we'll have the playbook out. Of course, stay by your phones, get on the news all day, get us in the Discord. Uh, James and I will be back live 5 p.m. Eastern. We'll catch you later.